but trailing by 2-0. Mo Salah, together with Seydou Mani, uh, that's had actually gifted Liverpool Football Club the lead yesterday. It was... Mm. Uh, uh, Seydou Mani, then of course Mo Salah over there. Again, good performance from Mende. The goalkeeper over Chelsea Football Club actually did keep the game at two. Yes. And then Chelsea had to fight back to level things back into that one. Good performance. The goal, the goal that was scored uh, by Chelsea's jersey number eight. Uh, that is, uh, I just keep on forgetting his name. Uh, what's the name of uh, the Chelsea's number eight? Uh, not Matovic, rather. Uh, hey man, I'm actually forgetting these guys again now. That's mm. a little bit awkward, but was yeah, a good goal. But but, 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 but it was a great performance uh, from the boys because uh, trailing two nil is uh, something very big, uh, most especially when you're playing up against one of the big dogs in the English Premier League, that mm. is Liverpool. Uh, but the contention of how uh, the, 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 the players manage to uh, contain themselves, making sure they do not get red cards, making sure uh, they do not get a cynical yellow cards, and making sure they do not make a couple of fouls, because in most cases, we've seen Chelsea uh, find problems uh, uh, defending set pieces, yeah. but they managed to give Liverpool a few or limited set pieces, and they managed to defend very well. The reason as to why I loved Rudiger's defence yeah. is because he's not so pesky. But he managed to uh, outclass the likes of Mane and uh, uh, Salah when it comes to the issue of uh, uh, the, the, the the runs. He managed to he, he managed to contain them and have them uh, into his contention. So uh, Chelsea was a good side uh, yesterday, and most especially when they were playing at home. Yeah, I was actually talking talk about a footballer called Kovacic, mm. good midfielder. Shot Mateo number Kovacic. Eight. Yes, uh, shot number eight scored a beautiful stunner yesterday for mm. the Chelsea. Uh, then Pulisic went on to wrap it up in a game that ended two-two. But also today, as we wrap up the show two minutes to go man united plays wolves yes uh 8 30 p.m uganda time it will be a great one but uh we, we we cannot forget to tell ugandans and all the viewers out there that uh man united has not lost to wolves in the last five meetings wolves has only managed a single draw and man united has won four out of five in uh, 2020 and 2021 when the two sides were meeting unlike the days of uh, uh david Moyes or unlike the days of uh jose Mourinho, where wolves always uh disorganized the peace of man united yes but during the days of olegana Solskjaer, uh we've seen wolves failing to win up against man united so that is a very big record for them and uh Today, Man United won't be without uh, Paul Pogba because he's still battling a thigh injury. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the same applies to uh, Victor Lindelof, who is still having an illness. And not forgetting uh, a gentleman in Anthony Martial, mm. who is eyeing he an wants exit. To he wants to leave. Yes, yeah. he, wa he wants to leave and he's questionable. However, Ralph Ranick is one of those coaches that uh, talked about players' body language. If at all you show him very poor body language before the game, you won't play. <laughs> you won't play. You will send play. you, you on to the bench, you just like he put uh, Jadon Sancho onto the bench in the game that Man United won 3-1 mm. up against Burnley. Mm. Uh, when asked, he said uh, Jadon Sancho's body language wasn't enticing. That is why I didn't give him uh, a position in the starting eleven. Yeah. So this time around, all the Man United players that are available for team selection have to have that uh, good body language. Good body language. Good body language. And I think even the coaches in Uganda need to start studying the players body language. body language yes otherwise they'll keep on losing games well that's it thank you very much all for being part of the show like we say it was the first show of 2022 and let me remind you come sunday we have the african cup of nations coming to you live and free of charge you don't need to actually pay any dime on your decoder or anything you'll